I love fresh strawberry season, and there's no better way to enjoy strawberries than piling them high on a giant shortcake and loads of fluffy whipped cream. To prepare the berries, I have three cups of strawberries that have been halved. I'm adding three tablespoons of sugar. Just sprinkle that over them nice and evenly. One teaspoon of orange flavored liqueur. Give it a gentle stir. And we'll set this aside for about 30 minutes so the strawberries get soft and juicy. To make your shortbread, first set your oven at 400 degrees. I'm sifting all the dry ingredients. I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and don't forget the tablespoon of sugar. Now I'm gonna work in four tablespoons of chilled cubed butter with a pastry cutter. You know it's perfect when the mixture resembles coarse breadcrumbs. Now I'm adding three quarters cups of whole milk. Mix that together until you have a tacky dough. Plop the dough on your prepared baking sheet. Take a basting brush and spread three tablespoons of cream all over the top. Now we can't forget the one tablespoon of raw sugar. Sprinkle that evenly right over the top. Bake this until it's golden brown, about 25 minutes. You want this to be cool before slicing it, and I love using a serrated knife. And this is how I do it. With a hand mixer, I like to beat my one cup of cream for about two minutes until soft peaks form. Now I'm adding one teaspoon of vanilla, two teaspoons of orange flavored liqueur, and three tablespoons of confectioner sugar. On low speed, whip this for about one minute until you get medium peaks. Let's put all this deliciousness together. I've placed the bottom half of the shortbread on a beautiful platter. Let's add two tablespoons of softened butter. Slather that all over the top. Time to spoon on the berries. Pile that fluffy whipped cream on top. I know what I'm having for dessert. Place the top half of the shortbread right over that whipped cream. Wow. I love to sprinkle a little bit of confectioner sugar right over the top. Now I'm going to garnish it with some fresh mint sprigs. This dessert puts smiles on my family's faces. They love it every time I make it, and I hope you make it and enjoy it too.